Hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Heart with Dell. Today I have an unboxing for you, or unbagging I should say, of these products from DP Clubs. So DP Clubs has kindly sent some products out for review. So I've got a couple of things I'm going to show you here in the bag today. And uh, we're going to go through them and then, you know, I'll add all the links and all the good stuff down in the description box for you guys so you can go check them out for yourself. Yay! Okay, so let's have a look what we've got. Just a couple of really different things I thought I'd go for at the moment. So, in the bag, come in standard sort of parcel, you might say. I have, oops, one, two, two, and I wasn't sure if they were in there because I couldn't feel around. All of these as well. Awesome. I was finding it a little bit hard to send them through, but they obviously got them for me. So this is awesome. These guys have got these. And yes, they are metal heads. Now you can get all sorts of different sizes, but I just wanted to grab a 10 and a 4 and just try them out. I've got this gorgeous thing and another another awesome product here but i'm just gonna slip them up a little bit higher out of shot while i have a look at these guys with you now you can get practically any drill size you want in these um heads you can have the little bendy sort you can have the straight you can have squares you can have you say you one place or two three four five six seven eight nine ten right up there individually so Literally, if you want a five place a drill head, you can have it. So that is awesome. So they're like a, um, a rose gold in color. I'll try and bring that up so you can see it really clear. So that is going to somewhat attach somewhere to my drill end, like into the pen. It has it feels like that's a narrow sort of head piece as well. How cool is that? For your wax, it has the number 10 on it, so you can see. And yeah, that is um, it is going to be nice and hard and it's not going to um, fray the edge hopefully as quickly as the plastic ones do. So yay, how exciting is that? Um, cause I use a 10 and a 4 placer a lot, uh, multi placer I should say a lot in my um, a lot of my diamond paintings. So I thought this would be a really useful size. I'm just going to tap it on the table. Yep. And I thought, you know what, it would be really good if I can get um, a metal placement of a multi placer because of all this edge here gets chewed up by my drills. So. I just thought that'll be really useful for me, so cool. I'll have a look at this one too. Um, this is a four. Just trying to bring that up so you can see him nice and close. How cool is that? It's got the number four on it. It is narrow, it's not the wide, it's a narrow by the looks of it. There's your end there, it goes into your drill pen. Again, excellent. That is excellent. And they've got a bit of weight to them. Like, you know, they're not, you know, all plastic. They've probably got coating inside there. Or the, I don't know how they all work, but they have a little bit of weight to them. So these are going to be a lot of fun. I'll have to let you know how they all work. I am so excited about that. That is super duper cool. I am going to say that. I am very happy I got those. So thank you so much, DP Clubs, for sending these. I want to try some of the other sizes as well, but I want to just, you know, test these guys out. So I'm so pleased they were able to send those ones. Now, they're only a couple of um, dollars US, I think, something like that on the website. So check them out. For a couple of bucks, you might save yourself a lot of, um, a lot of trouble uh, looking for replacement fours or things like that. If you like to use a multi-placer, I think these are going to be great and I'm looking forward to giving them a try out. I'll have to update you how they go after I've been drilling with them for a length of time and that and see if they're 
chewing up as easily as the plastic, but it will take a while, I think, to come to that conclusion. Awesome. Very excited. Okay. I'm going to go through and show you this one next because it's sort of clear and you can sort of see a bit of what's going on. Now, as you can see, this lovely crystal, uh, acrylic crystal in here and some gemstones and it's a special rhinestone kit. This is one of those um, hanging amulets and I think they look really pretty, these sort of things. So and I've made a lot of dangly crystal things in my time, but this has a little diamond painting feature. Ooh, I'm making a lot of noise. So I thought I would give it a go. Cool. Okay, so I've got some rhinestones, lots of blues. I'll go through them in a little bit. I have my actual pendant, which is these blue wings with some nice big special drills as well as my rhinestones. Beautiful blue wings. It's acrylic, it's a double sided. It has some holes here, top and bottom, so that I can um, add the hanging chain as well as the dangling crystal to the end. Very sticky. Lots of glue. Lovely. And those symbols are lovely and clear. Beautiful. They're very, very clear. I don't know if they're focusing, but they are very clear. And this will just be just one of those fun little projects you can sit in front of the telly or something and just, you know, it's like we're doing a little doodle, but it, no, I shouldn't say that, but it's, it's just a fun little project. I think just to, if you've got a big thing going on, it's a nice fun project. It'll make a really cute gift, I think, for Christmas. You can make these up and they wouldn't take a lot of time in that regards. Now, in here I have the actual, oh, there I am, the actual hanging part of the crystal and pen, wax and tray. So, because this is easy enough, I will just take out the pendant for the moment and just show you that. Beautiful. That is gorgeous. Now it's got an AB coating, beautiful faceting, and it has like the almond shape. It's really catching the light and the colors. You can see them sort of on my hand, they're coming through. This with this will catch the sun really lovely and the colors will dance lovely on the window and the floor, etc., and the walls. So it's going to be really pretty how it catches the light, the piece. You also have, of course, this little acrylic, um, shark would oh, there we go these little acrylic chakra beads that you attach to that so that will connect to your crystal and this end will attach to your pendant as such up there and then it will hang from the bottom like so so that one, that one, and then that. And of course, just put that up a bit further. You also um, get this little chain in the kit and that's to attach the top part to hang your pendant from. So a beautiful little fine chain, has your little attachments and so forth. A little tangled from being in its own little kit there, but that piece there will come open and connect to the top of your crystal and this will hang on to the top of your pendant. There you go, so all the bits and pieces there. There they are, all the little attachment things. Oops, don't drop them. This will link your pendant and so forth together. There we go. So lots and lots of little pieces in here. So I'm going to put them all back in the bag so you get Three of those pendant hooks, plus the fourth one that's on the chain there. Chain, the crystal, and your little chakra acrylic beads. 
that all comes with your tool kit in there as such so all your pieces are in here as I said um, you have four of those attachments to attach your pieces together you have your acrylic uh, ch chakra drills with facets and you have your little acrylic um, crystal as well with a beautiful AB coating and of course you have a pen and wax and a little tray to work with the other part of this kit of course is the drills and you have the big letters on the bag so you can identify what you're working with on your kit nice and big and you have all these beautiful rhinestones that are blue so I'll just have a little bit of a look at those ones with you there we go and so lots of shades of blues but they are looking pretty good a bit of purple as well there we go and a couple of these bigger marquees with um, some AB coatings. There are quite a lot of those in there too. All right, so that is that one. So that will be a lot of fun. And I will add the link to these products in the description box for you guys to check out. As well as the link to the website so you can have some sort of browse because it is other designs if this doesn't quite float your boat for whatever reason the blue isn't your color or the wings there are other pendant styles with the crystal hang so yeah check out the website for others if this one doesn't um quite you know do it for you so to speak all right i've got to show you this one this is going to be voila so this is a lovely big uh diamond painting craft as well it has a DIY diamond painting box it has all the instructions nicely printed uh, clear photos etc to help guide you along the way so you know if you're new to the craft or whatever you've got some really basic good guidance there on the front it has um, a lovely design big diamond nice and colorful it's a DIY diamond DIY diamond painting and this one is a pendant and I'll just show you up here is like the thumbnail it's got a nice big picture if it will focus for me there we go and it is a beautiful one of these beautiful pendant Christmas trees so we're going to check one of these out of course Christmas is not far away and I thought this would be really a fun project to do for one and I thought I'd, I know so many things I could do with this later on even after completing it uh, give it as a gift or whatever but I was thinking my mother loves this sort of stuff so maybe it'll go to her collection of um, bits and pieces for Christmas okay so this one is really nicely packaged in fact it's got the nice cardboard box to protect it it's also coming in all together in a nice um, sealed bag it's got a little bit of bubble wrap so that's awesome Ooh. so it's nice and sealed so I know everything should be in there Ooh. Ooh, la, la. I have to get it out <gasps> carefully Okay, so we have a basic toolkit. Oh, come out, don't get stuck. Oh, wow. We have some drills. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Beautiful rhinestones and jelly, drill, jelly drills, which means it glows. I'll have a look for those in a moment. Let's check out what else have we got. That is the base. I know the exciting stuff is coming out, isn't it? Okay. Let's get this out of here, shall we? Oh, wow, it's big, isn't it? And where's the other little doodad? Wow. Is that everything? Oh, no. 
think you come with it too. A little bit of string. Well, I might have to put all this back in the bag until I'm ready to do it because I don't want to lose anything. So I think this little bit of string is what attaches the uh, my little Santa together in the middle. Yeah, I think it does. I think it hangs down. Wow. Okay. So this is the actual tree. It's quite big. It's quite thick type resin paw. It is double sided. Excellent. A uh, beautiful clear drill field and all letters by the looks of it. It's fairly well covered. It's nearly a, basically what you call a full drill in uh, crystal rhinestone and special drill. So that's awesome. So the tree itself, I'll bring it up really close if I can. So this is the lettering and the symbols on the actual uh, tree itself. And you can see they're printed really well. Now these yellow ones are what you put the jelly drills on and they are the ones that glow in the dark. So this is going to have a really nice glow uh, all around the edging and of course where you put like your strings of light. So it's going to be really pretty. Lots of big special drills as well. You have the hole here where you'd attach that string and Santa will sit in the center here. Put like a plastic thing in there. Protect it. This is the other side, as you can see. It's just as well printed. Beautiful, nice, big, special drills, rhinestones and glowies on that side as well. Now this section here is where you'd go and put your base and it's all drilled as well. So we'll see how that works up when we do it together. I'll do this one up and show you how it all comes up. So yes, 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 yes. Now I'll just show you that the base is all drilled as well. So you have all these beautiful drills along the base. So it's not plain, a plane on the bottom, obviously. It has a little lip there. That seems to fold down. I won't muck around with it too much. Seems to come out. I think that piece will just pop out. And that will allow me to insert the base of, sorry, the top of the tree through the base. And it's gone. I guess it's not staying in there. <laughs> anyway, um, as you can see, this drill field is really clear as well. Again, I have the glowing drills and they're all around the edge of the base. That's quite a good size. This is the little Santa. And he's well covered as well. So through his little face, he's really well covered. And he is double sided as, as well. Mostly rhinestones, but he does have a few big ones around his uh, beard and that there too. So. That's pretty cool. He's cute, isn't he? Very happy looking Santa. So Santa will hang. Santa will hang here through the center of the tree. And get that to sort of focus and show you properly. And then of course your base will be as such. So that will be pretty awesome. Now, yes, well, I can say it's sticky because I just peeled back. Oh, yes, there we go. So, when I just peel back, you can see I'm going right through the middle there. And I've got these beautiful big sheets. It's very, very sticky, plenty of glue. You're not going to have any trouble getting the, um, the drills to stay on that. So that is a really cool, um, different ornament that you can get for Christmas. And you could do it up, um, pop that in the window, catch the sunlight and then move it around because it'll have some glowing drills. So you can make a really cool display with that. And that's the little string that'll hold Santa in his place. So I've got to look after that. So there we go, that's that part of it. Let's have a look at its drills. 
I'll just pop it to the side. So the drills are as such. Here we go, focusing on drills, lovely. So the drills are really good because they've got these really big letters that I know are the symbols to um, the drilling field. So that's what I'm going to match and work up because there is nowhere I can have a table on a craft item like that. You could probably include a little uh, sheet of paper, you know, like thing or something like that in here in the drill, a little strip could be handy. But um, when the letters are nice and big and clear like that, I think that's pretty good. Oh, I've got lots of drills in here. Lots and lots. Okay, so I don't have really a one or anything like that I can start with, but I can show you these rhinestones and just how beautiful and sparkly they are. I have some silver, some beautiful Christmas red, of course. Lots of Christmas green, because this is a really green um, tree, <laughs> I guess. This is beautiful. This is sort of got that um, blue tealy aqua color about it. I've got a very light blue, a much more brighter green. And that is two of those, actually, because they've both got um, it's upside down, but they has got the wires on both of those. So there you go. Lots and lots of green, of course. I have more to show. I'm gonna try and keep that out of the way so I can try and get this focus happening. Now, as I said before, I could see these guys. These are the jelly drills. Check them out. These ones are the glowy ones. And they're a little bit clearer so that's why they don't have a symbol underneath of them because you would see that otherwise. That's why they've just got the yellow, I mean, sorry, the orange dot in this case. So let's follow those. Some beautiful big um, amber facet rounds. And these are looking about a 12 mil round, so that's pretty big. Some beautiful green. Some 10 mil white um, AB coat domes, some really big uh, golden yellow facet ovals, lots and lots of those. I probably should be showing them this way to be honest. And T is this smaller star like with an AB coating star, with a creamy sort of drill. Just recap those ones because I sort of went the other way. They are turned around the other <laughs> turned over to the silver side anyway, but beautiful colours. And these beautiful orange is going to stand right out and they'll glow, so they'll be really, really pretty. Lots of beautiful uh, drills in that piece. So that's that. Wow. That is going to be stunning, as I said, so I will at its description and as I said before with the other pendant the trees there is other designs as well so if you don't particularly like um, how green this one is there is bluer ones and you know red and white designs and, and different shapes and different what you know some with snowmen some with centers so have a look because there is a few different ones on the website for you guys to check out so as I say if you don't particularly like this exact pattern or whatever but you do like the idea there's lots to choose from all right so in recap I'm going to say I have a really cool uh, DIY tree and it's probably about a good 30 centimeters um, in height just from the base to the very tip so it's quite a large piece it'll make a really nice uh, centerpiece for the Christmas table Lots of ideas I'm thinking of for that. So that's going to be lots of fun. So that's that one. I have also gotten this beautiful pendant um, sun catcher for the window. Again, this will look really beautiful with all its colours on the wall, etc. It also can make a really nice uh, secret Santa or something like that. And 
I have also got some nice new metal like heads to play with. So these will be a very interesting experiment to see how well they are last. And I'm going to start setting them up on my drill pens pretty much the next time I sit down diamond paint, which won't be very long after making this video. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to start just working with them constantly. I won't change them out to any other heads and I'll just sort of make note, I suppose, on how long they start to last or change, etc. But yeah, definitely for the few dollars that they are, I think they'd be a really good investment. I know I'm always looking for four placer heads and I don't often get them in kits and things. So yeah, I think they'll be really good, but I will test them out and see what they're really like. And yeah, I'll let you know. I might pop something up on Instagram or come back here, add it to the end of a video somewhere when I finish. Goodness me, I keep going out of focus when I'm talking. So I'll let you know how these go. Uh, I might even give you a bit of a progress update after making a couple of these and pop it on like a finished video of these guys for you if you would like to see that. Um, but yeah, so these are the few products I got from DP Club. So that's been awesome. They look great. Uh, look like a lot of fun honestly and lots of beautiful drills I'm really looking forward to getting into these once I finish a couple other projects I think I'll start getting these up uh, yeah I'll probably get these up for some December uh, diamond painting reviews that's for sure but I will let you know as soon as I can on how these ones are going that being said I'll say thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed watching this unboxing from DP Clubs and myself, of course. And I hope to see you come back and watch more of my videos coming up soon. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Stay well, be safe and be your life beautiful diamond up. This is Del signing out. Have a wonderful day, guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. See you soon.